have a motto in the youth department of the Seventh-day Adventist Church around the world, and that motto is, pass it on. Can you shout, pass it on? Because we understand that there are three questions that young people around the world are asking. They're asking, who am I? Can you say, who am I? Why am I here? And where do I belong? And it is a race between the church and the world to answer those questions. Can you say amen? We must quickly be able to help them understand their identity in Christ. Their identity in who? Their mission as Seventh-day Adventists. Their mission is what? And their leadership in the local church. Their what? We must quickly pass on these three values to the younger generation, and we must do it fast. You know, one of the things that I love about the Bible is how relevant it is. You know, it's often the preacher that's not relevant. Never the Bible, amen? The Bible speaks to the things that are going on in our lives today. I love studying the Word of God because it comes from a living God, amen? You know, one of the things that I think is so amazing is I was asking God what I would share tonight. He said, Gary, why don't you look in the book of Joshua? Do you know what I found about Joshua? And this is so important for the lead conference. What I found so awesome about Joshua is that he has some significant similarities to every single one of us here in this room. I mean, it blew my mind when I read the book of Joshua. We have a lot of similarities, us here in the room, to this man of God. First of all, we know that he was chosen by God to lead at the very edges of the promised land. Think about that. Every one of us here sitting in this room have been called by God to lead at the very end of time before Jesus comes back. What an incredible opportunity. But there's something else about this man that I find so amazing. You see, just like Joshua, you are called to lead the younger generation. Now, you might be saying, Pastor Gary, listen, uh, I'm not the youth director for my division. We have a youth director that's in charge of that, and we have division directors and Sabbath school leaders, and we have all these different individuals to do that. But I want to tell you right now that just like Joshua, you are called to lead the younger generation. Think about it for a minute. Joshua, all the older generation, had died in the wilderness. Joshua found himself being a leader to the younger generation. You say, Pastor Gary, man, I don't, I don't really know if uh, that would really uh, work for me. But listen to what the Bible says here. Then Joshua circumcised their sons whom he raised up in their place. I want to tell you right now that you're in, some, you're in some dangerous ground if you don't see yourself as a youth leader. Listen to what the statistics are saying right now. Did you know that 51% of the world's population today is under 25? So if you choose not to be a youth leader... You've limited yourself to only 49%. We are all called to be leaders. You know what I also think is pretty amazing? How Ellen White describes young people as the wings of the three angels' message. Did you notice this famous passage, how many times she uses two words, how soon? Can everybody say how soon? Notice she uses, we always look at rightly trained, and that's a really important part. But notice how many times, three times, She uses a speed term, fast moving. The wings of the three angels' message are our young people. With such an army of workers as our youth, rightly trained. Help me out. Might furnish. How soon the message of a crucified and risen and soon coming Savior might be carried to the world. What? How soon might the end come? The end of suffering and sorrow and sin. And then what? How soon? You see, i got to tell you right now, if you decide to do ministry without including young people, you have decided to be an angel without wings. Our young people are the wings of our three angels movement. Can you say amen? amen? 